With GamesCon being out for the past few days, Petty 3 has had a lot of gameplay that has surfaced on the internet. And uh, between watching all that gameplay, you should notice the difference between uh, uh, a lot of the gunplay and a lot of the stealth. Uh, one of the bigger factors is that switching over from the diesel engine to the Unreal 4 engine for Payday 3. And one of the biggest things that I definitely wanted to touch on was about stealth. And I feel like that's a big topic to talk about because one of the biggest things in Payday is between going stealth and loud. You know, stealth, uh, getting you that extra bonus in Payday 2 um, if you do it successfully, where you don't alert anybody, you don't get any waves of cops that show up, and you just do things the way uh, that mechanic was designed to be. However, it comes with a couple caveats with the game being uh, a few years old. And one of them is being, I'll put it on the screen here, is if you're playing Payday 2 and you have a detection risk, and depending on how high that detection risk is, if you approach a guard or get near a camera, they'll have a, a better chance of being alerted, and then boom, instantly you get a, a, a wave, an onslaught of just police showing up, and then there goes that stealth bonus. However, in Payday 3, it's a little bit more forgiving. Actually, I'd say it's a lot more forgiving. Uh, even to the point where it seems more realistic, if you want to say. Regardless, Payday 3 uh, and Payday 2, um, a whole, the whole franchise is kind of more of an arcade shooter. Although you can still get that realistic vibe from it, if you know what I'm saying. So if you approach a guard or a certain area, which is new in Payday 3, which they now have public and private areas that would be listed on top of the screen, at least for the HUD that they've been showcasing at Gamescon for all the, uh, the beta builds and whatnot. Um, if if you get close to a guard or a camera, the camera will also trigger the guard to come to you and the guard will approach you in a way that he'll have to escort you out from the private area and back to the public area and then him saying something like a quip of uh, stay out of the area and come back, you know. And um, that's pretty cool and I think if he catches you again then that's when they actually lock you up and they'll put you in custody for a little bit. But that's that's one of the things is that you are you don't even have your mask on, you're not even going loud at this point, you're still considered in uh, your mask is off, you're still considered in stealth mode. And that is pretty neat because then you don't have that option of just instantly getting that wave of enemies. And like I said, in Payday 2, it's just the second you bump into a guard or the camera triggers or something like that, uh, then the whole thing just flips sideways. Another bigger part of the stealth mode that they've improved on in Payday 3 is the interactions when, uh, when in this concealed mode. Is that you can approach doors and you can lockpick stuff, which is nothing new, they have that in Payday 2. However, you just get a lot further with, with the interactions. You can, I know it's nothing crazy, but um, now you can open and close doors. Closing doors is one of the bigger parts that Payday 2 actually never had, which, which helps break line of sight uh, whenever um, you need to stay concealed more, hidden from the civilians with guards. But it's just the overall interaction with how much uh, freedom they gave you to do with the stuff while in this concealed mode. Uh, you can even go up behind guards and you can steal key cards. Uh, that used to be before. It used to be a perk in Payday 2 that you had to get and uh, or a skill in order for you to interact with stuff like that. But it seems to be in Payday 3, it's just it's just boom. It's just the way it is. You can start doing that kind of stuff like that. And with all these types of interactions, it really makes for a good um, long run where you can just pretty much stealth out the whole thing. I figure until you have to put your mask on, then uh, that's when you start collecting the money and all that. But it seems to be really good. Uh, the stealth seems to be improved on by a ton, and I'm sure there's a lot more stuff that I'm missing out on. But just at first glance, this is something that I definitely want to touch on. Um, the gunplay is another big thing. Is that I mean, go figure. It's the Unreal Engine 4. It's going to be it's going to be a hell of a lot more improvements, and it just seems that that everything has just been touched up on. Um, the UI and everything is just really clean. But I mean, that's aside for the point of what we're talking about. But I'm going to step into some uh, Payday 2 stealth right here. Um, and we're just going to try it out, see the difference. And between the differences that I encounter in Payday 2, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I see that in Payday 3. And as, as that's an improvement. So, all right. Just the uh, old fashioned bank. Overkill. Uh, we'll probably case it out first. Uh, see if we can grab what we have our uh, skill. Step around that guy. Yeah, they get some crazy detection on them. I mean, look at this. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, there it goes. All right, we got the key card. Security room. Where's it at? Right here. Uh, maybe we'll grab the manager since he roams. Good luck, buddies. It's perfect. On the ground. Right in the stairwell. Get down on the ground. Good. Make the cops think twice about coming All right. here. 
Uh oh. You got the guard right here. Things are cool. Over. Get this man's pager. Who left this man's pager? Grab this real quick. We should be all right. Now, usually we'll wait for a guard. He stands right about here. That'd be pretty ideal. That seems to be that's the only guy right there. Oh, shoot. He's going to go around. Let's check the cameras real quick. Once he comes through. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Perfect. Nothing to report. Over. All right, that guy's gonna swing around. But yeah, even if we just tapped into one of these guards, you know, give him a little kiss, a little spooch. And now we're actually gonna move him. Then uh, we'd be in a little bit of heat. Seems to be two more guards. Overkill's got that extra guard, uh, bumping. We're able to grab this guy. Now, because we got those two civilians right there. Are the guys on the corner? Let's see. Keep track. <laughs> Get down, people. Get down on the ground. Down, people. Get this guy's down real quick. I mean, I, I hate electronics. Should be okay. I don't know if they're going to get tipped off. Oh, he's a little, a little confused. Don't you dare move. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I think we might be able to get the other guard if he comes through here. That'd be perfect. If a guard comes through this way, that might be a little, a little unfortunate. Stay down. We're gonna check real quick. That yeah, guard's right there. Gonna need to get the people behind the uh, teller here so they don't hit that panic button. Stay still. Don't move. Stay back. Get those people right here. Everybody yep. down. Stay put. It's all right. They're everywhere. Stay still. Oh yeah. We're this pager real quick. Over here. Oh no. Let me get a run for it. Down yeah. on the ground. Police, a down on the ground. No. And stay there. I don't think so. On the ground, people. <laughs> And don't you get up! Stay down! Alright, we're gonna look for a door. We're gonna get these people behind the uh, desk here. We're gonna get the dude outside. Just so he doesn't get the attention of the other folks. On the ground! Yep. Yeah. Come, come, come on. with me. Come on. Let's go get him up out of here. Get these people at the front as well. Uh, we'll bag this out. Nope, we can't. Come with me, move it. No more move body bags. Come with me, move it. We're just gonna move these people to the back. Hopefully, we'll be okay. Stay down, everybody. Uh, while we're Don't doing this, uh, the zip ties. We're gonna get the drill set up. Stay down, people. Stay Double down, check. everybody. Okay. Let's see if they got the side open. No, we'll get this real quick. Ooh. Hey, yo. I can grab it right through the, okay, right through the truck. To the vault door. Easy. Set it up. Keep everybody in check. Alright. Looks like we got it. However, I just noticed throughout all that. We got a guy bing chilling right there. Look at that. Nobody move. I don't give a Stay damn. Down, everybody. All right. Oh man, it's gonna be one of them crazy ones. And I'll try to lockpick all these and see what we get. Stay down, all of you. Stay down, everybody. All right. So we got a bag. I think we're gonna take it because it is a uh, it is on overkill difficulty. So I'll be sitting there for probably a long time trying to get those uh, bags and everything. But we'll take what we got. It, it really isn't a whole lot, but the difference, uh, Payday 2, Payday 3 Stealth, uh, from what I've seen, Payday 3 just seems I like an overall improvement. But uh, regardless, they're both fun games. 
old but gold. But uh, yeah, that's some of the main differences that I saw. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.